Welcome to Knock Row Nation. Welcome back guys, Jarrell here. And I'm Josh. Ladies and gentlemen, are we getting an expanded story of one of the most ruthless Walking Dead villains? Scott Gimple may have confirmed this. Yeah, guys. So during last weekend's Walking Dead holiday special, Scott Gimple spoke briefly about a new project they're developing. And he says, quote, We're working on something with one of the great Walking Dead villains of all time, and it's coming together, end quote. <laughs> so now you might be asking, well, who is one of the greatest Walking Dead villains of all time? How many have there been? Well, there's been a, a number of villains in the show, but if you're talking about great, great villains... Let's go with it. So we put up a poll. Yep. And that poll is... Negan. The governor. Alpha. And beta. Alpha and beta. Yeah. That was it. That's all you can uh, get on Twitter. Yeah. But yeah, that's all you I can mean, get on Twitter. I mean, would you roll... What else is there? The Terminus? Terminus, but it was very short. Yeah. Um, the Wolves. The Wolves. Very short. Yep. Not really a roof, you know... A, I call that like a filler villain. Yeah, you know, filler just villains, fill, yeah. <laughs> fill time. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, guys, so... Uh, the Claimers... Nah, not really. Yeah. Fillers. Oh, yeah. Uh, come on. So on three, let's say what a one, two, three. The, the governor. governor. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be. Guys, David Morrissey wants to come back to play the governor. They could base... They, if, and here's the other thing. Scott Gimple did not mention whether they are doing this for Tales of the Walking Dead, which, you know, we know that he wants to bring back past characters and do series on. If it's, you know, what type of series is this for? Is it a one shot? Is it a mini series? But they have so much source material for the governor going back to the books that they did on him the yeah. rise of the governor and there's three or four different books it was, on it it was, oh. it was the rise of the, the governor i forget the middle one and the then obviously the fall of the, the road governor. to woodbury the road to woodbury yeah, actually road to woodbury was more than three. rise of the governor yeah it was about three or four or five i have the set um but yeah guys uh, it, it, there's so much material there for them to do even a multi-season project with mm. this actual villain mm -hmm. um we did get a little bit of his story expanded in the seasons themselves we did. after Woodbury was burned to the ground. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, and I actually started reading, I believe Rise of the Governor is the first one. No. Yeah. Yeah, I think or it was like right. Road to Woodbury. That's the first. Maybe anyway, Road to Woodbury, yeah. I started reading the first novel. I think I got seven chapters in, and I enjoyed it thoroughly. I was having a, a, a fun time reading the book. It was an amazing yeah. read. Yeah. I just unfortunately got busy and couldn't Life. come back to it. Yeah. yeah, I know. I still have I still have the set that I need to read. But from what I've heard from you guys who have mentioned it too, like it's it's a great series and there's yeah. a lot of material for it. You know, I mean, they've already shot the Here's Negan, but like we've kind of said. That Here's Negan is only going to be a small portion of that story. Not that the Here's Negan is a huge story. They can expand on it if they want. Mm -hmm. But this one episode, I think, is just going to be more dealing with him being with Lucille, his wife, and not with him starting the saviors and the stuff leading up to before he even met Rick. Yeah, I definitely so see they that. they can expand uh, on I that. I definitely see that as Negan pre-apocalypse. Yeah. Um, then all the events leading up to the mm -hmm. apocalyptic event. Right. Um, so, uh, yeah, I just think that uh, for this particular uh, statement that Scott Gimple made, mm -hmm. um, I think it's a different villain. Yeah. And, yeah. And, 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 I mean, if we're talking about the group of villains... Mm -hmm. They're not going to give us a story of a villain that we just got finished watching, I think, in my opinion. I, I, it's got to be the governor. Yeah, they want to do something fresh. I mean, they, I, we've heard plans of them possibly doing for Tales of the Walking Dead. Maybe something for Beta. Maybe expanding on his origin. Because we didn't get a lot of it. And you don't get a lot of it from Alpha or Beta in the source material. Um, so... They could do something for Tales of the Walking Dead, expand on, you know, one thing that we would love to know. How did Alpha start the Whisperers? How did she really get those people, put the masks on, and, you know, conform to her ideology yeah. of the world? Because all we saw was her take on Beta. That was it. Uh, or bring, bring Beta into the fold. We didn't actually see the moment where they... Start. created the mass exactly and started their developing rules. their ideology exactly that that'd be something cool to do do that in tales of the walking dead sure. but i think for this announcement guys for sure it's going to be an awesome one of the great ruthless villains of all time and that's the governor and i think they could do a really good job with this yeah and we're we have done multiple videos on this if you look back through our content that you know rumors of the governor coming back doing series and it looks like it's going to hold up <laughs> Yeah, I mean, our it, theories, it, man, if they do it. It would be really an amazing series if they even do it, even like a two, three season series, simply because Limited, you're going to yeah. get what a lot of fans love, and that is the moments 
before the apocalypse mm-hmm. and the moments of the events happening themselves with the yeah. governor's story in the books. Yeah. A lot of it was them, the beginning book, them on the run mm-hmm. with his daughter, I mind you. Mm-hmm. Like you're yeah. gonna get to see what happened to his daughter as yeah. well. I mean, you're gonna like we said, you know, there's gonna be good and bad with it, but you know, fans who are fans of the governor who wanna see it are gonna go see it. Fans who don't, they won't. You're gonna get that everywhere. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But it's the walking dead. And for big fans like us, for the source material and the show, yeah, we definitely want to see the governor. And I, I know David Morrissey wants to do it too. Yeah. <laughs> so that's awesome. I think that's it, guys. There's no other greatest villains of all time that could be put into this um, besides the one that we've ones that we've listed because those have mostly been filler villains. I wouldn't even really say villains; they've just been yeah. filler bad guys. I, I, I mean, for me villain wise nothing gets better and i'm talking about in this order in my opinion yeah of negan the governor well, for sure. and you could make an argument that the governor tops negan yeah well um, now because negan's not really a villain anymore but true he he true. still was comic yes. book wise uh yeah. the governor negan oh yeah dude <laughs> Oh, yeah. More, <laughs> For sure. We've said it multiple times, if you guys don't know, but in the source material, the governor is just brutal. Yeah. More I, than Negan he, ever was. He's, he is probably the greatest villain of all time in that series, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> so let us know what you think. Make sure you go on our Twitter and vote as well. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments. Give the video a quick like. Subscribe if you're new. And come back for more with us. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're Nacro Nation. We're out.